Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Mnix Plays RimWorld. Um, we are... It's like the fourth day of summer. Uh, this is episode two, and we are starting to sort of get, get, get our colony up and running. Um, right now, we're just sort of fortifying our defenses. We need some more power, actually. And that is something that I should work on right now. Apparently, you can get fuel generators. You have to fuel it by hand. How big is it? Oh, it's like a small little... Like a hand crank generator. Maybe I can put one indoors um, in the future. And then sort of as an alternate uh, power source in case we... You know, there's a solar eclipse or something like that. But for now, I feel like solar generators are the way to go. Let's put another solar generator right here. And that's probably going to be all the power we need. We put down some walls. It looks like you'll be here for a while. Wendy is suggesting you give the colony a name. What should we would be called? There's... <sighs> Names are always hard. And we're just going to stick with the same... We're probably going to, you know, like a tank colony. Tank, a tank. Um... Uh... Dank... It's a dank colony. Dankony. Dank... Dank... Dankony. We're now in Dankony. And there we go. There's our, there's our colony. There's our colony name. We need to generate some more power, obviously. We need to fortify our defense. There is a lot of stuff to do. Ali is just chilling. She's cloud watching. Um, how are your needs? Uh, in a little pain, ate without a table and feeling terrible. Eating without a table, that's something that we can take care of right now. We should give a table, or we should provide a table for them to eat um, their meals. So let's put a table... This place is too small, that's the problem. Um, I need to extend this house later. Oh, there's that mad animal. A squirrel has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Where is it? Okay, it's this man. Okay, it's this one. Um, these two are actually not good at fighting, right? Gear. You cannot fight. You have a pistol. And you have a rifle. Okay. So here, this is this is our first fight. We need to draft everybody and come over here. Right? And then... You come here. Okay, so... Mnix is the one with the gun. Shoot it! Okay. Okay, we're good now. Yeah, we're good. Um, squirrel is dead. We should set up some bills on our butchering table. We should butcher creatures. Um... Do forever. Butcher all creatures. So, okay. That's good. That's good. Building more walls. That's fine as well. Butchering more creatures will give us some leather as well as some meat, which we can then use to cook. This is our stockpile right here. And Mnix. So I am the chef right now. Um... Right, I wanted to build a table. I wanted to expand this place, actually. Uh, how am I going to do it? How am I going to expand the house? The garden is pretty much going to be here, right? Um, I can expand outwards like this. I feel like I want to expand in here. So, I'm going to assign some work. Um, I want to mine into here. So, let's mine here. Let's do this much for now, and then I can make rooms afterwards. So let's mine into the mountains. Someone can take care of that. Um, is anybody raising the pet? Okay, Wendy, you should take it, be taking care of the animal as well. Where's my where's my dog or whatever? Where's the dog? 
animals. The warg. So the warg, what training? So we should do obedience training, and then we should do hall training. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, we're not lacking food, I don't think. Actually, no, we are a little low on food. There are berries available that we're just not picking. Um, and they will spoil if I don't pick it. So, let's harvest... Some more of those berries. There's there's berries growing in our room too. We gotta take care of that as well. Okay. So I know that we do need defenses. We should build some turrets. I'm not too sure where. Um, I need walls. More walls. Close this up. The terrain here cannot support this. Okay. Uh like this. There. Okay. Now we're still not getting too much power out of these two solar panels. Um our batteries are draining very quickly. So that's that's not a good thing. Definitely need more power. Actually, right now it's just just right. Yeah, not enough power. Pray. Okay. Uh, besides these walls, I want. Um, let me see. Let's put a table in here. Uh, like this, and then let's put some chairs, no, not a steel table, cancel, I want a wooden table, wooden table, and some dining chairs, there, so now you can eat at the table, so that should be good. Um, okay, we still have the storage over here, body parts, chunks, corpses, we can put animal corpses there, and then we have the actual, like, people corpses stockpile over there. Hold on. Haul this. What was Ali doing? Ali's gonna be stuck outside. Um. Okay. Okay, you can configure how they respond to attacks. And I should configure that actually. Um. Uh, how do I do that? Social? Oh, so... Ali and Wendy, since they chit-chatted and they had some deep talks, they are pretty good with, with each other. Mnix and Ali are okay with each other. So everybody is okay with each other. Had deep talk, chit-chatted, Ali is beautiful. Okay. Um... Let me see, what is there to do right now? Right, I need to set their... Uh... I need to set how they react to... to threats. How do I do that? Social, gear, character, needs, health. That's not it. Work. Restrict. Whoa, what happened? Colonist needs treatment. 
These colonists need medical treatment. Without it, they may die of their wounds. Treat them by sending them to a medical bed. A colonist is assigned as a hunter but has no weapon. Do we suddenly get a new colonist? A villager named General has arrived and is join joining the colony. She is a drifter. We got a new character. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Amaya General Rose. She's a drifter. She's a good cook. She dislikes men. She's a prostophile, so she likes... She dreams of being bionic. And she's basically a jack of all trades, but is incapable of doing social. Um, somebody who's another female. And somebody who's impa incapable of social skills. Well, obviously you're going to be called Dirk. That's a no-brainer. Another female in the colony. Still no men in this colony, which is a little odd, but whatever. Um, we need... Where's our where's our colony? We need another room for him, and we need a a, a medical bed. Um. Okay, so I need walls. Oh gosh, how do I do this? How do I extend the rooms? Okay, let's do it like this. Like that. And then put a bed in here and put a lamp in here and then deconstruct this and yeah okay for now let's set this to a medical bed and what's Mnix doing? Building dining chair. Okay, that's not as important as finding that... Finding Dirk. Okay. So Dirk is injured. Oh, he has asthma. Minor untreated. Affects breathing. Okay. Um, you can take the medical bed. Okay. So Derek would be resting. And Derek is getting his asthma treated. Next treatment in six days. Okay. Now I need to figure out Derek's work priorities. Um, let me see your character again. And are you good at shooting? <laughs> shooting is four and he has a slight passion for it. That's better than mine. So uh, let me let me drop my weapon and Derek can pick it up. And what else? Social, Wendy, Ali, uh, feeling good, very low expectations. So Dirk is going to be the chef from the looks of things. As a matter of fact, he's going to be the dedicated chef. Yeah, Dirk has the best cooking skill out of everybody. Uh, firefighting, patient. Uh, you're not good at medical. If you need bed rest, get bed rest. If you need to flick, flick. Um, wardening is terrible. Handling is terrible. You will not do any of that. You will not be hunting either. Construction is a priority. Repair is a priority. Um, you won't grow. Mining is a priority. Plant cutting is a priority. Everything else, hauling, cleaning, and researching will be done by Ali. Ali will be the researcher. Okay. That's pretty good, I think. We're low on food. How low are we talking here? Five simple meals, ten survival meals. Shouldn't Derek be, Derek be cooking? What do I need to make a fine meal? Don't allow rotten. We can use berries, right? Okay. 
But Derek should be focused on cooking, shouldn't he? Are you... Need materials. What? Hold on. We can cook some more simple meals, but what's wrong with cooking... Work amount... We need... 0.25 nutrition... We need 8 ingredients. We have the ingredients, do we not? We have all these berries. Maybe we need meat? Oh shoot. Okay. Uh... Alright, what's the time? Okay, Ali. You shall be hunting. Let's start with something easy. Let's hunt this. Uh, prioritize hunting the squirrel. Alright, kill the squirrel, Ali. You can do it. Yes. We are low on food, so we need to butcher this thing as well. Okay, Dirk is making food now. He's making simple meals, though. Now we have some meat, maybe? Oh, why is this part not storing meat? Uh, let me increase the stockpile zone. And have it hold meat as well. Storage, corpses, animal corpses. Foods. Raw resources, uh, chunks, body parts. Raw food, meat. Yeah, I don't, I don't want any of the foods in here. Okay, move that away. Okay, so, so he's making meals there now. Um, this is going to be... Uh, does he still need to heal? Okay, so we still need a medical bed. No. No, just a normal bed. He still has asthma, so he still needs treatment, but... I figured that part out. Okay, we need to haul the squirrel meat. And I need to... Ooh, there's steel here. Let's unrestrict that. We're gonna need to make some turrets over here, I think. So let's do that right now. Um, let's bring some power over. Uh, is that possible? This place is like tundra or something. What is this? Marsh? So you cannot build on a marsh? Oh, this sucks. Okay. So if that's the case. Oh, security. We put some turrets, like... Over... We put a turret here. We put some... Sandbags. Like this. And then... We gotta make like a choke point or something. Um, actually, no, we just leave it out in the open, whatever. I hope this will be fine. We'll get one turret for defense. So we have struck steel. Uh, we gotta do a bit more mining. Let's put a... A steel, a wooden chest table outside. Um, let's put it right here with some chairs or stools, uh, wooden stool here and here so you can play chess. And that'll just be so that you don't get bored while living in this colony, which makes sense, I suppose. Okay, so I need to hunt some more stuff. 
I'm kind of worried that if I were to go for the Muffalo, that they would try to, um, well, that they would go on a rampage. But let's go for it. Let's hunt it. Is this gonna be fine? Are they going crazy? Okay, they didn't go crazy. That's good. So the fact that we can get some muffalo is really good. That's actually a lot of meat, I think. A group of hungry alpha beavers have just arrived. Try to eliminate them before they decimate every last tree in the region. Okay, that is that's kind of bad. Um, let's try to hunt them. Let's try to hunt all of them. And let's make hunting a priority for Ali. There. I'm gonna keep an eye on out on Ali though. I feel like the beavers might go for her if she's too aggressive. I'm gonna watch out here. If they start attacking, I'm gonna run. It looks like we're good. She's gonna hunt them all down. Okay, well she's doing that. We have some more stuff to do at home. Specifically, we should mine out some more areas. Uh, let's make a doorway here. And then do this. Like that. And then like this. And this is going to be a fridge for us that we're going to dig into the mountains. Oh no, there's a raid. They will prepare and then they will attack, prepare, prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. A group of pirates from the poison partners have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while and then attack. So we're, it's just one guy. Okay. Um, okay, Ali. Hunting is not so much of a priority anymore. You can come home now. So this pirate, he is definitely going to come in from this side. So I do have a turret waiting for him. Um, maybe I will set up another one just in case. So security. Let's set up another one like this and put some sandbags like there. And then put power conduit going down like this. Now I should also put a power switch right here so that if nobody's attacking me, I can turn off the power and save some electricity. Why are, why are the beaver corpses coming here? I don't want it here. I want to store it over there. I guess there's no space here. Is that why? I guess that's why. Uh, okay, fine. If there's no space, I'll, I'll put corpses here. Okay, so the pirate is beginning his assault. Where is he going to attack from? Where is he? Okay, let me keep an eye on him. How is he supposed to get in? I don't understand. Oh, he's actually going to attack my wall. Okay. Interesting. Um, I did not think that would happen. Where's my fourth guy? Where's Dirk? Dirk is hauling. Okay. Okay, so he's given up. Because while he was attacking the wall, we were just repairing it. Um, let's, uh, draft everybody. Oh no, my, my, my animal. Um, I need to create an area. Manage areas. Animal area. New animal area. Uh... Zone area. 
Uh, let's see, how do I do this? Expand allowed area of the animal area to here, here. That's like the indoors animal area. And then send him to the animal area. Send the animal back. Oh, he's not killing my animal. Okay. Uh, you, Derek, you stand here. You two just get back. Oh, the, the turret is killing him. He's gonna blow up my turret. I think he's dead. <laughs> okay. Um, ah, too bad my turret died though. That kind of sucks. We need to, uh, we need to do something about that. Okay, so first things first, I'm the realist. Drop this, let the whole world feel it. And I'm still in the murder business. I can hold you down like I'm giving lessons in physics. Uh, we should build a wall over here. So that they don't actually, you know, go for my turret. Straight off the bat. So. Uh, let's, let's bury this guy in a grave. Uh, how do I do that again? Joy? Miscellaneous? Okay, grave. So I can bury these guys. And it would make it so that they're not neg negatively affected by seeing corpses. So I suspect Derek... Oh no, they're, they're fine. Ali's happily nude. Okay, everyone's feeling okay-ish. There's still a lot of things to do though. A lot of stuff to do. So, um, but I don't think we're going to get hit by a raid for a while. How long have we been recording for? 27 minutes. Okay, we're still good. Hungry, cold. It's cold out? It's not cold. Well, it's a little cold. Are you guys actually cold? Slept in the cold. Huh. That's a problem. A charity worker named Jesse McKee calls you from nearby. She is being chased by pirates from the Poison Pan Partners. She begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Bio uh, biologically, she is 51 years old. Be warned, if you accept, you'll have to fight off the pirates on her tail. Well, I mean, we just fought some pirates. And let's see, how is she is very good socially. She's good at crafting. She can grow, she can research, and researching is actually something we should try to do more often. She's too smart for her own good, which is kind of annoying, and she has a chemical interest. Um, okay. Chemical interest versus teetotaler. So her opinion of Dirk is not very good. She is unable to fight. She's a refugee, she's a charity worker. Okay, uh, uh, <laughs> what to do? Okay, first thing, I'm, I'm not gonna go, 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 uh, I can't say, I can't sing, uh, Iggy Azalea twice in the same episode, okay? But, uh, first things first is we have to create, build another turret over here, get the sandbags deployed over here. What is this? There's a little steel shiv. Um, and then. We have to make some walls out here and force them into like a choke point or something, you know, like this. And that way we can shoot them as they're co going through the walls. At least that's the plan. Let's hurry and do that. Let's bury this guy. Okay, so he, so he is going to get buried. Okay, so there's a raid coming. How many of them? Two of them. 
That's not too bad, but they have Molotov. They have Molotovs. And a shotgun. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, all of you. Draft. And get back inside. Wait. Is the turret constructed? Oh my god, we only have one turret. Okay, well... Well, you have to get back. Ali can be over here. Uh, Dirk... Can be like over here. Oh, please get him. Don't get wrecked. Okay, one guy is down, and the other guy's running. Is he any good? Character. Wow, he is... He has some good traits. And he's a fast walker. Okay, if I can get... If I can get him, maybe? Chase him down. He's running. Um... Okay, there's no way. So let's undraft these guys. This guy is dead. We did get a pump shotgun, which is very nice. And we got some fine meals. Let's strip him down. Whoa, whoa, before you do anything. Wait, 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 wait. Can I strip him? Prioritize... Calling? Uh, strip him. Okay, now bury him. We're gonna keep his clothes. Okay, so those are the two pirates, and then we can haul all this stuff away. All right, all right, not bad. Uh, the new person, um, who was it? Oh no, Emnix. Yeah, me. I can take the pump shotgun. I will equip that. Okay. Oh, and we got cotton, so we can harvest that. Nice. Wait, harvest failed? I guess it's based on their grow stat. And his is 4. Jesse's is 4 as well, so I guess you can't do much about that. Does anyone have like actually like a good growing stat? No. Okay. Okay, we got a lot of stuff lying on the ground. Um, and that basically means that we need more people to do more stuff. We need to do more hauling. Uh, just so much to do. Okay. We got some more clothes. We got some more medicine. Got some more food. That's good. So we have 10 fine meals and 10 simple meals ready. We have a lot of meat prepared. It's still the middle of summer, so we're still good there. Are those alpha beavers still at it? Are they done? Okay, it looks like the beavers are dead. Alright. We can still hunt these muffalo, so there's that. What are you doing? Hauling steel. Cargo pods. You have detected a large, uh, a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Perhaps you'll find something useful. Grizzly bear meat. Nice. I'll take that. Lots of hauling to do. And, oh, I have five people now, right? So that means I need a fifth bed. Uh... Furniture, structure, wooden wall. Oh man, look at this. Our place is expanding. Uh, let's do it like this. No. Cancel, 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 cancel. Do it like this. And deconstruct here. And then... Put a bed in here. 
All right. And somebody focus on making the bed. No, not the wall. Any materials for the bed? Okay. There, we got a bed now, so at least we can sleep. You might end up sleeping outside, but... That's just how it is. Okay, so... What can you do, Jesse? If you need to be a patient, be a patient. Uh, you're not a good doctor. If you need bed rest, bed rest. If you need to flick, flick. You are an awesome warden. Um, as a matter of fact, you are better than Emnix at wardening. Um, animals, not that good. Uh, hunting, no good. Construction, if you need to construct, construct. If you need to repair, repair. If you need to grow, grow. Mining is fine. Plant cutting, maybe don't do it. Eh, whatever, do it anyways. Smithing, tailoring, art. Crafting, hauling, cleaning, and researching. Who's the best researcher? No one, apparently. Amnix, maybe? You can research too if you need to. And that's actually something we need to look to do. We should create a research bench. It takes up a lot of space. Um, so... I need to put it somewhere indoors as well. Can I put it outside actually? Oh. I could potentially, like over here. Steel research bench, like here. Does it need power? I don't know. Info. It does not need power. So an electric stove would need power? Yeah, okay. So I'll put a research bench outside. Uh, actually, let's put it somewhere... Maybe... Like here? Maybe, maybe here? I can't build there. That's the fridge. Or that's going to be the fridge. I want a good place to put it. And at the same time, I want to put it somewhere where if I had to uh, expand the house, it wouldn't be in the way. Maybe here. Okay. So she's gonna be sleeping out. She's gonna be sleeping out in the cold. Her mood is not gonna be very good tomorrow. But uh, what can you do? You know, what can you do? Now I want to focus on getting the geothermal uh, power generators. Since uh, we do have geysers nearby, right here actually, which isn't very far at all. And there's another geyser over here as well. So that would be good. Disease. Jesse has gotten sick from sensory mechanites. Ensure you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure that Jesse gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. Holy shit. Jesse, you just got here. Are you sick already? Whole body, sensory, sensory mechanized, mild pain, untreated. Okay, so this is gonna be a medical bed now. Oh my god. Okay, J Jessie. Jessie's like a old woman. Um, she gets sick easily. <sighs> who do I? Who do I know that's like that? And and, and guys, if if you're watching the RimWorld episode, if you want to be one of, if you want to. Uh, be one of these characters, just let me know. Um, and I will add you into my character list. Who should I call this person? Just somebody who gets sick a lot? You know what, I'm gonna leave it as Jessie for now. I, I haven't decided on what name to give her. So we have Jessie, Dirk, Ali, Wendy, and Emnix. Okay. And Jessie's sick. Sucks. Wait, what just happened? So how's Hauser's health? It's still pretty bad. But she's gonna get treatment. How's Derek? He has asthma. But he's getting treatment for that too. 
We're getting some more potatoes, so we get some food. We need a research project. Okay, so our research project. And we have a lot of choices for research. Actually, we have a lot of choices now. Before, they, they didn't have this many. I want to get geothermal power. High-tech research bench. What the hell is that? High-tech research bench. Where is it? Required research bench, high tech research bench. Stone cutting, colored lights, microelectronics basics. The basics of working with delicate, complex electronics. This unlocks the high tech research bench, comms console, and other research projects like tube televisions and crypto sleep caskets. Is that what I want? Devil Strand. Uh, hydroponics. Smithing. Oh, there's so much research. I didn't even know. Tube television. Okay, I guess we start with uh, microelectronics. That's our first research project. Gonna take a sip of water right here. Are we out of medicine? Hold on. Hold on. Oh no, we do have medicine. Where's our medicine count? 22 medicine. Okay. Um. Oh, we need more power somehow. How do we get more power? If I put a wind turbine here, I would need to put it outside. Right? Large clear space in front and behind for optimal airflow. Yeah, we need more space for, for the wind turbines. We can put it here maybe? We can get one wind turbine. Um, basically, I need more power, right? I guess I could have one wind turbine over here. Man, how do I do this? There's just a lot of marsh. Oh, I could keep wind turbines over here. I could keep one right here. That's not a bad spot, actually. Like this. Okay, I want to do that. And I'll bring a power conduit over as well. Okay. Oh, so much stuff to do. Okay, so this is gonna lock by pine tree. Uh, chop wood. Wendy prioritized cutting the tree. Cutting this tree. Okay. How's it now? Okay, so it's not blocked by anything at this point. Alright, so that's giving us a bit more power. Which is good. Um, oh shoot. I should put some redundant power lines as well, so let's do that, and then I can turn off this switch right here. What's Wendy doing? A alpha beaver is attacking after being harmed? Uh-oh. I'm gonna draft you. Alpha beavers are taking revenge! Run! Run, Ali! Oh god! Ah, draft everyone! Take everyone inside! Run! Ali, run! How's her health? Oh, she had some blood loss. She has some bite marks, some scratches. No, keep running. Oh no! 
Oh shit! Ali's gonna die! Oh shit! Help her! Alright guys, we're gonna have to take on the, the Alpha Beavers, because cause they've gone mad. The Alpha Beavers gone crazy! Kill them all! Uh, somebody... Rescue Ali. That makes run. Keep running. Kite him! Kite him! Run this way. Run! Alright. Alright, we're good now. <laughs> oh man. I think we need a couple of extra medical beds. We need to treat Ali. Oh god. That was pretty bad. Are we gonna be okay? Oh, there's still one more. One more beaver. Okay, they're all slowly dying now. Terrible mood. Colonist needs rescue. Where? Uh, set as medical. Rescue alley. Okay. Okay. Everyone's injured. Uh, you're injured, you're injured, and you're injured. Wendy's our doctor, so she'll treat everybody, I guess. A psychic drone. Every colonist of the female gender winces in pain. Some distant en engine of hatred is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the female gender. For the next few days, some people's mood will be quite a bit worse. This is absolutely terrible. This is just horrible. Uh, Ali, Jesse, and Amnix are all injured. Jesse is in a terrible mood. We're gonna have some people who are gonna break. They're gonna reach their threshold. They're gonna reach their mental threshold, and that's gonna be it, guys. Wait. That's not medical. We need we need a couple more medical beds, I think. Oh man. Oh, this is bad. Wait, where where are you guys? That is non medical? Can you sleep? Set owner Mnix. Alright, apparently you don't want to sleep. Okay. Okay, there we go. A hunter lacks a weapon. Yes, I know. You're gonna have to get your weapon later. Oh, that was pretty intense. Um, and now there's a psychic drone. So, everyone is in a terrible mood. I should not have hunted those alpha beavers. How's her health? So she got a bite mark. At least she didn't get like... She's in severe... Ali is in severe pain, but at the very least... She did not get a... Uh, like... I know she's seriously injured, but... She didn't lose a limb or something like that. Now Jessie, she's in a terrible mood. Um, I don't know when it's going to get better, but hopefully that will get fixed soon. 
Um, but it has been like around an hour of recording, so I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, uh, if you want to be one of the players in my care or in my in my game, if you want me to name one of my characters after you, please leave a message on or leave a comment in my video and let me know uh, what name you want it to be called. Otherwise, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter at twittercom place for any updates on new videos and live streams. Otherwise, keep in touch, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.